Hey everyone, it's Brian with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're going to be doing the install video for the folding windshield on this Razor XP. I've already laid out all the materials, so let's go ahead and jump over there. We're going to go through the tool list and all the things that came in the box. Okay, let's go, let's go ahead and go over the tool list and the hardware included. So today you're going to be needing a drill, quarter inch drill bit. We, I'm going to be using this screwdriver, that's just for me, for ease of access um, and for ease of use, but you can do it all with one drill. Um, we're going to need a sharpie or a marker to mark locations for holes. We're going to be using a 716 socket and you're going to be needing a Torx adapter for a T40 that's going to be used to take off the panels off the machine. Number three Phillips and then a 716 um, box wrench or open, open end wrench. So our hardware, we're going to give an um, overview shot here in a second um, of the hardware included. But just as a note, there are four one inch quarter inch bolts. Um, we're going to separate two of those for later use, so just make sure you designate two of those um, in advance for uh, an inst install step later down the road. We have a shim kit included with this uh, product. We're going to be using that shim kit to get the right distance for your visor, that way there's no um, misalignment and it's just going to make your machine look better and operate better um, for you. Um, the material included, we're going to have our clamping pieces, two large brackets, our window rests, our lower piece, our lower um, visor mount, and then as well as our upper visor mount, and then we have the large um, windshield with the glass included. And if you have any questions about stuff that you had um, come in the box, just give us a call and we'll answer any questions you have. So the first step we're going to um, do is actually going to go and get the machine ready and take off some panels. So let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and grabbed my uh, T40 and screwdriver. We're going to be removing this upper panel first, and then we're going to be removing some screws down in the wheel well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Make sure you keep these for later. Try and go ahead and remove that. I'm going to place it in the, in the machine just to get out of my way. So now the upper one is removed. I'm going to go ahead and um, turn the steering wheel to get better access to the bolts we're going to be removing and loosening down here. So down here we have two screws we're going to be actually removing and then one screw we're going to be loosening, not all the way. Okay, and now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and repeat it to the other side. And now that we've completed that, we have two more screws to remove and then we're going to proceed onto our roof. Two screws are right here. We're gonna completely remove those. Now that I've removed those screws, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the roof. Now for our roof, we have two clips we're gonna loosen up and that's all you have to do for the roof. They're right here. All you gotta do is pull down on the tab there and you'll hear a click and then that's loose now. And I'll repeat for the other side. Okay, now that I've unclipped the roof, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab my um, lower visor mount, and then we're gonna need two of those screws that you took out. Um, they're actually all the same size, so we can just use um, two of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And my screwdriver with the T40. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this underneath the body panel on both sides. We're gonna line up the slots in your lower visor mount to the holes um, in the screws we just took out. We want to make sure that this is all the way down, nice and snug. Take your two screws, and we're gonna put them in that, that lower hole. And we're not gonna tie it down all the way, just a little snug. Now that I've done that, we're gonna go ahead and grab the roll bar clamps and install those. The roll bar clamps are these guys right here. This is the orientation you'll be installing them in. This is the passenger side and this is the driver side. These go on the inside of the machine and they're gonna be used to uh, clamp that visor mount that we just talked about and installed uh, more securely to the frame. So we're gonna be using 
two uh, quarter inch bolts per. And we're using the three quarter lengths um, that we set aside earlier. And we're gonna be using um, stainless steel flange nuts. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the passenger side right now. Grab two screws and two nuts. And we're gonna use that 7 16 box wrench and number three Phillips. So I have my hardware and tools. I'm gonna to put this down for now. We're gonna go ahead and start these screws and nuts. So we're gonna line up these slots with these two screw holes here. I'm starting on that lower one. Now that I've started that side, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it for the other side. Now I've hand tightened those, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tools, so the 7 16 box wrench and screwdriver. Before we do that, just as a note, we wanna make sure this is all the way down against those screws we just um, put in a few moments ago, and that way it's a more secure fit and it's gonna close up these gaps a little better. Now that we have those all tightened up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my T40. We're gonna go back and do those um, screws we started earlier and sunk those up. Now that we've completed that, we're gonna go ahead and progress into our upper visor mount. Let's talk about the shim kit we included real quick. So we included um, a certain amount of shims for your machine and the reason we did that is because there's a gap between the visor and the roll cage. This allows it to be a really good fit for the windshield and it keeps it nice and secure. All machines though are, are different. So we included multiples, that way you could size it uh, specific to your machine. Um, but for our hardware, we're gonna be using uh, our car long carriage bolts here and um, our two nuts on that. And this is gonna go in between the visor and the roll cage, and let's go ahead and talk about how that installs. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on this upper visor. I have it right here ready to go, and then my shim kit and hardware as well. In this step, it'd be really helpful to have a second set of hands, but it's not required. Uh, it's just gonna be a lot easier to hold that other side up while you're working on the side, um, the driver's side. So we're gonna go ahead and start by lifting this guy up, and we're gonna lift the roof at this moment and make sure that that fits just fine, and then we're gonna grab one of our carriage bolts, slide that through. And this is when you're gonna need that shim kit. So when I was dry fitting this, I noticed that I needed four shims for this side. So we're gonna go ahead and put those over the bolt there. We're gonna hold that just like that. I'm gonna lift our roof up and slide the bolt through the roll cage. And I'm gonna start that nut, just so it holds in place for us. Now that's not going anywhere. I'm actually gonna rotate this clamp down for the roof. So now that I've rotated this clamp, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this for the other side. Okay, now that those are hand tight. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my screwdriver. Add 716 socket. Okay, now that we have those um, tightened down, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the clamps. So I'm gonna push down the roof a little bit and clip that into place. And we're gonna repeat that for the other side. 
Okay, now that we have the roof back installed um, fully, we're gonna go ahead and work on the actual windshield part now. We're gonna use the glass and frame and then two of our one inch bolts and nuts. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here for now for easy access and then grab that windshield. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the windshield on the machine and we wanna line up these hinges together and we're just gonna let that windshield rest on the lower mount, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and grab our hardware. We're just gonna use one bolt and nut for this side. You might have to move the windshield to make these hinges line up. And I'm just pushing that bolt just partially through so I can get that nut started. And we'll preheat that for the other side. Now those are tightened in by hand, we're gonna go ahead and grab our tools to fully clamp it down. We're gonna be using a number three Phillips and our 7 16 um, box wrench. So when you're tightening these down, you don't wanna make them super tight, you just want them just high enough that the um, hinge operates smoothly. Do a quick test, that seems good. Now that we tighten these down, we just want to know, let you know that we have these latches here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, latch that just in case someone comes by and knocks it. It's not going to come down and crash on your uh, machine. So next we're going to go ahead and work on um, installing the window rests. Okay, next we're going to mark out our window rests. So we're going to have these pieces right here. This is for the passenger side. We're going to mark out these three holes at first, and then we're going to um, drill it out with our quarter inch drill bit and drill, and uh, then we're gonna put those fasteners in there. Let's go ahead and hit over to the machine and, machine and mark it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and line rear part of this bracket with this um, plastic part of your machine. That's gonna be your um, alignment point. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold that there and then mark the holes. All right, now that we have those marked out, we're gonna go ahead and grab our drill with a quarter inch drill bit. We're gonna go ahead and drill those out. I just wanna let you know to be very careful on that most forward hole. It's right behind your light, but we shouldn't have any issues. Just go slow and take your time on drilling it out. So after completing that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark and drill out the other side as well. Okay, now that I have all those holes drilled out, we're gonna go ahead and grab the rest and then three of our bolts and nuts that we have left and we'll go ahead and install that. As a side note, like I mentioned earlier, we have two screws that are longer. Those are gonna be the very forward holes that you just drilled and that way it just provides extra clearance to that bolt. So we're gonna be using two three quarter and then one one inch for those three holes. We're gonna go ahead and install this. So we're gonna use one of our short bolts in the back just to get it started. Then another one of our short bolts. and that long bolt goes up front, just like that. Then we'll go ahead and get those nuts started in the back. At this point, I wanna grab my um, Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna run these in a little bit. And go ahead and thread those nuts on the back. Now that it's started, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 716 box wrench, and we'll go ahead and tighten those up fully. It's 
So now we've completed that side, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it on the other side. Now that we've tightened all those down, we're gonna go ahead and install these brackets. So we're gonna be using the um, screws that you took off the machine earlier, so the uh, Polaris screws, and these are gonna be going um, underneath the panel and be supporting that window rest we just put on. This is gonna be the driver's side, and we have a passenger side we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and install this. This bracket should have um, this flange pointed in and it's gonna be up. Just gonna put this right here for now. This will actually slide behind your body panel. Okay, now that I've tightened that side, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it for the other side. Now that we have those brackets installed, we're going to go ahead and, and do our last step of drilling out the top holes in those rests and then putting those bolts in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So when we're drilling out these holes, a couple things we want to make sure we're doing is we want to have all these bolts tight so it's not going to go anywhere. We're going to drill the back hole first and then put our hardware in. But we want to make sure that we're going all the way through that plate we just put in. Um, that's going to be our backing plate for those um, that hardware. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab that hardware. So next we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process that we just did for that front hole. So I'm gonna grab my drill and then we're gonna put the hardware afterwards. Now that we've completed this side, you guessed it, we're gonna do it for the other side too. So before we wrap up this install, one thing I want to check is make sure that everything functions properly so that the windshield moves freely. And then also we want to make sure our rests uh, match in the correct location with the notches on the windshield. That looks great right there. Go ahead and take that off. Put it to the other side. And that looks great too. So go ahead and put that back up. And we're um, ready to put that panel back on and finish this install. And that wraps it up on this install. Thanks for watching the installation video. If you have any questions, feel free to look at our website or contact Razorback Off-Road Customer Service. Feel free to like and subscribe on the channel for more content like this. We hope to see you out on the trail.